Come here. Yeah, do you see this? This is a round four howling abyss. You don't get to see this every day. Look how cool this is. Oh, we got our own Swain. Whoa, we got our own Swain. Vision to see what others cannot. <laughs> our own Swain. <laughs> Who's the Swain deck now? And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Malphite Braum. It's Malphite Spotlight Night. We have three Malphite decks to get to today, all playing in ranked, all with a different region combination. Our first one is the one that's, um, I don't know, probably the, the least proven of the three. Going to be playing it with Freljord and with Braum for our other champion. So what our deck's trying to do is we are just trying to play a we're, we are a control deck here we're just trying to play a control game and get to the late game and braum does a good job slowing down opponents and you will have other tools here that will help us slow down opponents and then in the late game we're going to be using howling abyss to create our level two champions it's a great uh, way to win games for the frail yord control decks and that's what we're going to be having here. Now, the reason why this works is because with Malphite, we need 10 mana of landmarks to level up our Malphite. And so we're going to get 10 mana landmarks, hopefully, from one copy of the Howling Abyss and one copy of Blighted Ravine. We're playing three ravines, two Howling Abyss. We just need one copy of each, and that will be a leveled up Malphite. Also, have a Field of Rush in here to get a Malphite and a Braum into play as 10-10s, which doesn't actually grow Malphite that much, but it does grow Braum a ton. And so that will be pretty fun. Um, but then, yeah, we just got some defensive options. We have Nexus Healing with, like, Tavern Keeper and Sun Forger. We got Removal-ish with Ground Slam, Sunburst, Avalanche, you know, the Bladder Ravine. Some nice combat tricks with Troll Chant, Pale Cascade. Some good blockers, Sentry, Blue Sentinel, and the, the Tavern Keepers we talked about. Um, so, yeah, so this, this should just be a fun deck to play. One copy of Divergent Pass. If we play against Thralls, we can destroy a landmark. If we're not playing against Thralls, we can draw one of our landmarks. And, uh, yeah, let's have some fun with Howling Abyss and Braum Malphite, this kind of uh, control deck here. All right, first game. We'll go play our five games in Wrecked. Okay, Leona Sivir. Man, I can't talk today. <laughs> this is LeBlanc Sivir. Sorry. I don't know, maybe mulligan this. Uh, maybe just mulligan both of these. Like, the ground slam's pretty nice against LeBlanc. I'll mulligan the spells. He, we'll get more spells. Right? Like, is there really any difference between three sisters and ground slam and then troll chant and hush? I don't know. They're <laughs> kind of the same. It's all right. So we'll just mulligan the spells because we'll find others. Thanks and helpful Yoda. Yeah, that that glorious evolution Victor Heimer deck that we just played, uh, and just put that up on YouTube today. That was a that was a great video. Yeah, that was a great deck. That was a lot of fun. That deck did have the ability to go way over the top, and we're hoping that this deck can also have that same ability of going over the top with Malphite and Howling Abyss. So I got to choose which one of these I wanted to die right now. Blue Sentinel dying right now would only just give me to four mana next round. Not um, super exciting. So I just went with playing that sentry. Hmm, okay. I wasn't exactly expecting that, to be honest. Heroes go hungry. This will take the chill off. Danger pays. Hmm. I'm one mana short. Number. I was about to go hush troll champ, but I'm guess I'm one mana short. Let's just go here. Hey, Naked Knight. This one's on the house. Hmm. 
see the Nabassian border from here. It is me! Alright, just gonna do that right now while they're tapped out so they don't like respond with like a fight spell or something. I don't know exactly what, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. How can Brom help? Ooh, tell the one about your door again. I give you must look out for reavers. I've got meat bigger than you. I take six damage. Gosh, I have to use hush now. Yes, so. Yeah, I'm not too surprised by that, to be honest. Alright, well. I still saved 8 life with the hush, right? Like, I would be hushing that anyway and saving that 8 life. Alright, I like that we got more ground slams. Ground slams are going to be good against uh, Kato. Yeah, I talked about the new champion. There's a new... 2 mana, 2-2 two, two quick attack champion that just gives you like free landmarks, that give you free spells. It looks pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I think that that card looks pretty good. I guess, no. You know, because they, they could block with the 2-1 with that, but I guess we'll say no. I hate having to put my face on. Okay, so I have two spells I can play this round. Yeah, LeBlanc Sivir is a strong deck right now, for sure. This would have been a good match to have Avalanche or Blighted Ravine, especially Blighted Ravine. But we're not that lucky. I'm saying especially Blighted Ravine just to help level up Malphite. Disintegrate. Smoke and mirrors. The ground slams have been really nice, though. So if I let this happen, this Malphite dies. I think I may just let it happen and just play the new Malphite that won't have Vulnerable anymore. And we'll go back to being 10 health. I know I can use Flash Freeze, but, you know, there's strength in saving that Flash Freeze as well. It's not easy for them to get through Malphite. And now we're forcing them to do it again with us still having the Flash Freeze. That is not easy. How about another round? Find your own. So you got the Waking Sands. I really like that card. That card, that Treasure Seeker card. That card has looked very good. The table is set. Now are we die. Now we done. Yeah, the cards looked very good. Okay, do I go to five or do I flash freeze? They don't have like direct damage, right? Like they're not playing decimates and things like that, I don't think. I think I can just go to five. Oh, well, pretty glad I just didn't do anything. thing is, if I play Sunforger right now, all they do is just simply challenge the Malphite, or they just pass and I miss out on the 5 life steal. But then I also get to hold on to these cards. I guess that makes sense to play it. And that's what I mean by how they just pass. 
We're looking really good right now with these different spells in hand. So the ability to play two of these three cards right now. Assuming they go Overwhelm on Ruin Runner, that would mean I'd probably need to go like Flash Freeze, Flash Freeze. Unexpected. I can Ground Slam kill the 5-1 and Tomb the 5-4. I think I'm just attacking though. Hurts. It hurts because I love playing Howling Abyss so much. We love it when they run. That's the correct thing to do. Oh, I am very strong, At least I mountain, think it is. Because I am a mountain. Go time. Wrap him up tight. I give you muscles. <laughs> This will give me the six mana still for Howling Abyss, but I don't think it will come to that. Okay, got the first win. And we are 1 and 0. Oh. Rock wins. Rock always wins. I attacked. Alright, Twisted Fate Swain. Twisted Fate Swain's probably playing some Scorched Earths, which I hate to see. Because Howling Abyss is like my best card in this matchup, but they're probably playing some Scorched Earths. So, hate to see that. I guess I... Yeah, I guess I just force it and just see if they do have it. Nothing escapes my watch. In Averosa's name. Yeah, because of the Thrall decks right now, probably playing three sports shirts. But it's still our best card, so... Easy. Skip block right there. Suppose you should. All right, well, we got Scorched Earth out of their hand. So that's good news. One Scorched Earth down. Avalanche would clear up some of their stuff. It'd basically kill two things. If you count. Hmm. If we count House Spider as one card.
I can't play Howling Abyss right now because of Swain, right? Like, I, I go Howling Abyss, they go Swain. That's bad for me. Is it the boosters? Who knows? So I'm going to go this. I think we can pretty safely assume they don't have Culling Strike. For how they've been playing. And yes, could have Avalanche right there, but then if I Avalanche, they get to Ravenous Flock. And I wouldn't have any kind of protection. Good thing we waited on the Avalanche. We're doing good card-wise. We've taken up two of their Scorched Earths. Likelihood of a third Scorched Earth is low. And there we go, Howling Abyss! Yes! Lulu's awesome. And it's Malphite Spotlight Night. I was thinking about doing other stuff, but... Y'all know, it's Malphite Spotlight Night. Let's play Malphite. It's leveled up. That's cool. Alright, no Leviathan. Get a mighty Poro. The mightiest of Poros. Ooh, karma? Dude, are we gonna Karma feel the rush? That seems pretty awesome. Can we Karma feel the rush? We don't have the board space, of course, but... It would be cool. I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> Playing my champs. Because I want to. All right, so I do have the mana for Feel the Rush. I obviously just don't have the room though, but it would be really cool. We could theoretically double Feel the Rush right now, but we ain't got no room for that. We ain't got no room for nothing these days. I will unite the Frail Yord. All right, so they, like if they play things, so like I stun all the enemies and then they like play like one blocker and then Ash Frostbites that blocker. Nothing. I guess Ash could definitely frostbite something else, but I, I have Troll Chant minus two, you know, so I can go like minus four, minus zero. <laughs> it's just like insult to injury right there. Just punch him in the face again. All right, I guess they can block with one thing. One thing or another. So you get a block with this 1-1 one, one spider. But that's it. Nothing else. Malphite Spotlight Night. Featuring Karma, Ash, and Lulu. It's tempting to just like play more, play some Pale Cascades and draw a bunch of cards because we double up Pale Cascade, but we'll just click OK and take the dubs. And that's going to be 2 and 0 oh for Malphite Braum. The war is over. Now we rebuild. I could have put the spider under the overwhelm with the Lulu spell. I forgot about that. GG's. Yeah, Braum was Scorched Earth Bait. He's so strong. All right, I am... Yeah, so Scouts is always, like, difficult to defeat. We'll keep Sunforger or Braum, but they both cost 4. Kind of need some cheaper cards. Mm. 
Oh no, Sunburst does silence, silence it this round. I, I thought that Sunburst was permanent. Alright, Blue Sentinel, go, go get some blocking in. You can do it. I need Shiny Malphite. We have Shiny everything else, we need Shiny Malphite. Sure it is. Honor guide me. Really? You're just gonna like sharp sight that? So they sharp sight here. Do we? Which which one of these protections are we using? Flash freeze or troll chance? I don't want it to die to another sharp sight. I guess just troll chance. And I have to do this route so it doesn't die to just another sharp sight. I wish my Blue Sentinel died right here. This is the perfect round for Blue Sentinel to die, so then we'd have six next round so we could Howling Abyss. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm reaching down, petting my doggo down here. My, my dog's down down here underneath my chair. If you're wondering, if you're like, why is he, like, leaning way off screen? That's what I'm doing. It's my other, my doggo that was sitting back here at the beginning of the video. <laughs> the other doggo snoring back here. <laughs> so he snores a lot. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and do some attacking. The safer play is definitely to challenge the 2 1. Safer is safer in keeping Brahm alive. I don't know why they keep on doing stuff to try to kill Brahm. Like, why, why are you trying to kill Brahm? What did Brahm ever do to you? Hey Herman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there. I'll spot them. Our deck can block pretty well. Between that 2-3 and Sentry and Braum. Now Malphite. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Hot damn is the boss. You best start that. Say we're blocking pretty well. Like what it, like they have no attacks. Nice well he said I guess I shouldn't have told them that. I'll just attack here. Well, I guess I could add Braum challenge like a 2-1 or something. I didn't want to... I was thinking about like challenging the 3-4 and then letting the 3-3 three, three attack also, but like with a sharp side or something, I don't, you know, I don't want to like try to hush your three sisters this round because I want to play Howling Abyss. Is this too, too greedy? Probably. Should I just be playing, you know, like Sentry, Tavern Keeper, Sunforger and just like keeping up with them on board? Probably. But whatever, I'll do what I want. All right, so Lux would keep me have I would have four mana worth of spells with Lux. I can play. Yeah, like the only thing like they they can be leveling up Quinn by just like attacking with random things and letting him die. Do I need to be scared of that? Eh. Hey, what's up, Aroas? Yeah, I went with that for today. We got Howling Abyss Malphite together. Oh, that could be something pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Never back down from what you believe. Is on the way. It is on the way. <laughs> I should be blocking the 4-5, not the Radiant Guardian. Alright, so... There we go. Quinn is at... So Quinn will level up now. Yeah, that, that's why I should have blocked the 4-5. Okay, so Quinn will level up now. I could just hush Quinn. Yeah, is that is that better? Should we just ground, ground slam Quinn? Hush Quinn? 
you know, we, we do have, you know, we have options. Yeah, that's probably fine. I think we're probably fine here. We're not done yet. Strike for justice. Justice takes flight. Fly swiftly, kill swiftly. This is my choice. Luck always wins. You are safe with Brom. I don't care about their Nexus total at all. I'd rather just kill the 4 5 than the 4 1 tough. Dang. Dang. Alright, well, we got some cards. I just gotta cast two mana worth of spells for Final Spark for Lux. The strength of the sun I think it's time for some Nexus healing and playing some stuff. Let's get this guy. Yeah, I know, I know. Brom Brom's been a Brom's been a real soldier, right? Like we've been sacrificing the Brom, right? Like the last match, Brom ate two different scorched earths. Brom ate two different scorched earths uh, to have our Howling Abyss survive. Brom's been MVP. Kane says they should make a champion about plundering, and Cordex like Sejuani or Gangplank. Yeah, I guess like Misfortune, Sejuani, Gangplank. I guess Misfortune maybe isn't necessarily as much about. But. Um, yeah, as far as like leveling up when you plunder Sejuani, Gangplank. Especially Sejuani, right? Because that is... Yeah, Sejuani cares about the, like the plunder even afterwards. No more holding back. This game is all Malphite. My strength is yours. Malphite Spotlight Night. Yeah, I guess yeah, that that's the that's the one that makes the most sense. Okay. Um all right. Alert the villain. This will take the chill off. Hold nothing back. Sure. Banish the unworthy. Okay, so we take five. Down to nine. But as you can tell, we are doing just fine. Oh, who we got? Heimer? Heimer, pretty cool. Man, how do we... Oh, man, now Blighted Ravine? All right, well, it's Malphite Spotlight Night, so I'm playing this. We can level up Malphite. Yeah. And now we can stun all enemies. And then also stun it. We can go ground. No, why'd you? Now you Now you can see. <laughs> okay, so we, we can go ground slam for four mana, unstoppable force for two mana, so that's six mana to get the final spark also and stun everything multiple times. Prediction after the match started. All right, we got Trundle Trindamir. This one could be tough because this is a deck that can also go very large, right? Like we've been just going bigger than our opponents. But this is a deck that can go pretty big as well. Um, we're going to want Howling Abyss. Yeah. 
Sending the champs back, looking for Howling Abyss. Yeah, I like I like uh, Akshan. No, that's probably not it. Sean, Akshan. How do you pronounce that card? New two mana, two two quick attack champ. I think it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I like Lux a lot. I think I I'm always I'm always in the Lux is really underrated camp. If you're wondering, like, I guess you could put it like if if Lux was an island, like you know, property value, like on island, like I I I own a house on Lux Island. I think Lux is really good, and I think that Lux property value is going up in the future. Whenever other people realize that Lux is very good, I am a. I'm a believer in Lux. Can see the Demacian border from here. And I also agree with JJ. JJ's like, to be honest, all the champs are cool. And I'm like, you're right, they're all cool. But man, like yesterday, I guess people were saying that like Victor isn't very good, and people usually say that Lux isn't very good, and I'm just like, man, these these cards are so good. Pass. Pass. Don't do anything, just pass. You know you don't want to do anything, just pass. Just pass. Just pass. Alright, fine. I guess my opponent now has infinite cards. Nothing escapes my watch. But basically overall just pass. Whoa, Sejuani. E. Oh no, Divergent Paths. I could have got another Howling Abyss. Safeguard our homes. Too many cards. It's your fault, opponent, for not doing anything ever. It is Malphite Spotlight Night. So I guess I gotta play a troll chant, which maybe I should have done to give this thing minus two minus zero, but I guess I gotta play a troll chant to so I don't just waste the top card of my deck. But then again, I kinda just want that mana. So there's not really anything that I really want to draw anyway. I guess I'll just waste the top card of my deck. Whatevs. I don't really want to waste that mana. I only have 10 cards in hand. And that's why I didn't need to, like, hush to keep them from drawing another one. Pass again. Bur wow, they passed again! They're gonna burn a card also! Dude, this is just card burning left and right. Alright, something bad. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Okay, so let's... Ooh, I like Queso. Anyway, let's go ahead and play this as well. Pain is nothing. Me. You should have joined me when you had the chance. Hmm. Go this way. Fine. Oh, they're too scared. Too scared to block. Man, I'm just burning the top card again. All right, so now I'm not wasting mana. So now, all right, I guess I'll just use a troll chant. Because now I'm not wasting. Because now I'm still keeping the three mana. See, we were thinking about doing Soraka for this deck, and there we go, we, we got Soraka now. We were thinking about doing Soraka. And we did it. Yeah. 
Striker kind of just draws too many cards for me. Mm, I'll just save spell mana. Right or left? Yeah. Fine. <gasps> Katarina! Let's get more attacks! Dude, we can like Emphy attack. We can like Emphy attack. Lame. Oh, I should Pale Cascade also, shouldn't I? No, I guess not. No, because I guess I want to play Vladimir and Katarina. Hello, my darling. Hello. No going back. Noxus is where it's at. Same. That's gonna do it, Katarina. Dude, our deck is amazing. We are 4 0. It is a good day to be Malphite, because it's Malphite Spotlight Night. Man, that's what a timely voice line from the game. Okay, last time we played this matchup, Braum got to eat a couple Scorched Earths for us. That was very nice. And then also my opponent never played the card Swain or the card Leviathan, and that was also very nice. Hoping both of those things kind of happen again. Pill Cascade. Pill Cascade's a tough one. It's a good card. I'm gonna... I want to keep Pill Cascade. Yeah, we'll just do it. Let's keep it. Let's go with Blue Sentinel. Oh, what? You didn't attack into Blue Sentinel? Oh, that's a good point. They didn't have Culling Strike last round either. Yeah, so we had we had some things go right for us last time for sure. No Culling Strike, no Swain, no Leviathan. Get them, Sentinels. Get them, get them. Alright, so assuming they do this, then make it rain. We'll have six mana next round, so I will have the mana for Howling Abyss. Round four Howling Abyss. Dude, round four Howling Abyss sounds great. That will be enough that'll be enough to level up Malphite also. If they play Scorched Earth, they're just they're just super mean. Just let it happen. All right, no Scorched Earth. Uh, let's go. Yeah, pup, let's go. Come here, pup. Come here. Yeah, do you see this? This is a round four Howling Abyss. You don't get to see this every day. Look how cool this is. Oh, we got our own Swain. Whoa, we got our own Swain. Vision to see what others cannot. <laughs> Our own Swain. <laughs> Who's the Swain deck now? <laughs> See, we're leveling up our Swain. Round five. Ah, Sag. Yeah, we were gonna have like Troll Chant to like help so like they couldn't like, you know, like they'd play like a 3-2, we would ke keep it from, um, keep it from being able to block. Lulu. So basically, Howling Abyss, best card in the game. I think that's what we all learned today. Okay, that's a very fair assumption of, of these five games. Also, Malphite, pretty cool. 
Nice. I'm playing the two drops so I can keep a two mana spell like Pill Cascade or Troll Chant available. Yeah, it's another Mega Rain. I, I did kind of realize that I did kind of walk into that, but we'll go with this. Ooh, Avalanche. All right, where are they at? They're at leveled up swing now. Yeah, but I can't let them. I know they can replay a new Twisted Fate, but I can't let them level up Twisted Fate. Hmm. We got some good options. So, seven mana. What's the best use of seven mana? Is it Lulu, Averroes, and Sentry Troll Chant? Kindly Tavern Keeper, Averroes, and Sentry Troll Chant? I like Lulu trying to like trying to heal Swain with Lulu, like attacking and turning Swain into a five five. I'm always up for a round or two. Um and I guess minus two on the this thing. Oh, but that's gonna stun! Who says I don't fear? I will break them. Stun's lame. And they could block Swain with... The Sentry could block Swain. Both of these could block Swain. Pike? Dude, I've never hit Pike off of Howling Abyss before. That's new. Their time has come. So I kind of felt like they had another, like if I play Garen right here, they have like another thing to like stun Garen, right? Like they have like another spell like that that they want to play to, yep, to help get um, Swain through. If they also have Mega Rain, that could be bad for me. You know, like if they, if they have, yeah, Mega Rain could be bad, but. It's just how it is. All right, cool. Made the correct call. That girl? Dude, why, why are all of our cards so good? Oh, man, that card's so good? We can't play everything, though, but all of our cards are so good. It's really hard to, like, figure out what to do when all your cards are so good. Like, what what do I do here? Uh, we have to just make sure we don't die, so we want to play defensively, so I kind of want to play the Sunforger. Yeah, there's also there's Malphite plus Malphite spell. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. For silver I dot, for gold I lease them. They all sink before they float. It's at seven. My plan is to go like uh, vulnerable on the Twisted Fate and challenge it, but I want to get the you know I want to play Pike. I want to play this Life Steal, then Pike, then Help Picks. Their time has come. So their plan was Ravenous Flock. Doesn't work there, but they they can just throw the 3-1 or the 2-2 in front of the Sunforger and I don't actually actually heal my Nexus. You dare oppose Noxus. That seems like an I guess they're gonna Ravenous Flock to Lulu. Do they that was about as bad a block as you could make. Oh, yeah, that was I think the worst possible block they could make. Yeah, I guess I, I don't think they realized what was about to happen with the pike. But we'll take it. Five and oh, Braum Spotlight Knight starting it off. So the champion Spotlight Knights don't always work really well, but when it, when they do work, it's really satisfying. So it's Malphite Spotlight Knight. We wanted to build different Malphite decks 
and show off how you can play cool things here in Legends of Runeterra. And we show that off here with this Freljord Targon version of Malphite. Malphite Braum um, using Blighted Ravine and Howling Abyss for your other landmarks for Malphite. And of course, Blue Sentinel. That last game in particular was really cool with the Howling Abyss of having like the, the two Blue Sentinels die um, on round three. So that round four we had two extra mana. So round four we got to Howling Abyss. And our opponent did not have Scorched Earth. And uh, so then that was also 10 total mana for Malphite. Um, or, you know, of landmarks. But yeah, that was that was just really cool. So we got the round four Howling Abyss there that game. But just overall, like Howling Abyss just was, you know, really good. And so was, you know, Braum Malphite. And, you know, we played great defense with all of these different Freljord and Targon cards. And uh, yeah, then just kind of won the games with Abyss or Malphite or Braum or just, you know, whatever, <laughs> basically. So there we go. So that was Malphite Braum. Really cool. Thank you, Pockets. Thank you so much for the resub saying great color combo on the tie shirt today. Styling on them. Thank you, Pockets. All right. So there we go. So that's our first of three Malphite decks. We got two more. We're going to be heading on over to Ionia, having Targon and Ionia with Malphite Yasuo. And then also we will have Sharima with Malphite Talia. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed the deck. Uh, let me know. Leave the, you know. Let me know and leave those comments. And uh, yeah, let me know how you like this Malphite one. But that's gonna be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.